All right, guys. So since yesterday, which is 27th of September, we started noticing some issues in the chat GPD output, especially when it comes to the rendering of math equations and math blocks. A lot of you started um, to raise this issue. And uh, when we inspected, we found that ChatGPT has done a certain kind of upgrade to its system, perhaps yesterday, some new model was introduced or something like that. And as a result, now the copy button, which is there underneath every ChatGPT response is no longer copying the markdown properly as it should. As a result, when you are clicking on that copy button and copying that output and inputting into the massive mark red icon insert box, you guys are getting broken output when it comes to mathematical equations and math formula rendering in line equations, etc. Most of the things are working fine, like the headings are still there, the tables are there. So a lot of rich text edit features are still there, but when it comes to the math in particular, the math and the science formula and equations, that is broken like in all, almost all cases. So while we are working to see what can be done about it and uh, you know, trying to get a fix around that over the next two, three days, we're going to inspect that. And uh, you know, the de developer team is obviously working to get um, that issue sorted. But meanwhile, here is a quick temporary workaround that was suggested to us by our team members and uh, you know I'm making this tutorial so that you guys can understand that uh, while we don't do anything about it while we bring out a solution to this uh, issue around the copy button that has come up what you can do in the meanwhile so one of the options of course you can see here which is listed is that you can contact us over email and um, you know feel free to copy the entire copied content from chat GPT and uh, we will render your content and we will send you the proper document, docx or PDF in whichever way you like it. However, since you know that might cause a delay from our side and if you are in a hurry and to you know automate this, make it autonomous so that even you guys can do it, here is a quick workaround. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to chat GPD and here going to demonstrate it to you how to do it yourself. Uh, so the first thing we do is we open chat GPT as usual and um, whatever you are prompting it, you can write it. Suppose I'm saying it that give me a cheat sheet of um, matrices, determinants and integration formula for my exam. So I just write my normal prompt or whatever the instructions are. And when I'm done doing that, you have to give it an instruction, which is make sure to give me output as markdown with proper syntax. You can even write simply that make sure to give me the output as markdown, even that is acceptable. But here is the prompt and I will put this prompt for you guys in the uh, description box below so that you can see it. And uh, so every time you prompt chat GPT, if you're going to copy it to Bipset Massive Mark, just write this one line in the end. Now I'll show you in a minute what it does. So I'll just hit enter as usual, as always we were doing. So got it here is the complete cheat sheet in Markdown. Now it's creating that cheat sheet, but uh, you can see it's not coming in Markdown. Let me just try it in uh, okay so now if i just copy it and um, you can see that it's breaking you know earlier this was not the case now if you face this issue that it's breaking so what do you have to And um, you can see that it's breaking. You know, earlier this was not the case. Now, if you face this issue that it's breaking, so what you have to do is this did not work. So what you will do again is clean it from here, go back. Now give the second command, which is give me markdown code and after writing this, you insert the original 
content that you have to render on SMR that was, you know, earlier I just showed you it was breaking. And now I just hit enter. Now, as you can see, it's giving you a cheat sheet wrapped inside a markdown code block. Okay, so this is what we want the cheat sheet or whatever your content is wrapped inside a markdown code block. So you can copy paste it directly. So here you can see everything has come like this. Now I no longer want to use this button which we were earlier using. This is useless for now if you're doing math. Focus now on this new button. Now at the top of this code box where there is written markdown, so you know that you've got markdown. Here is the copy code button. So you have to focus now on this copy code button and click this. When you click this button and you will see that it's copied. Once again, I'm showing you, look, it's copied. Now you come to Massimal Playground as usual. Click on this red icon where you have to insert your markdown. As usual, the box will open. You will click and you will press paste. So this will copy your entire content, which is inside this box only, right? So you won't get this fluff and you won't get this fluff. Just whatever is inside this gray box, the markdown code block box, you will get only that. So once again, you get the markdown code block content, just copy here and then I have just pasted it here. Now I'll click insert as usual here. Now you can see that it's perfectly rendering. Everything is working perfectly. See what was earlier broken is everything is rendering perfectly. Um, maybe some issue here minor, but uh, yeah, again, you know, you can fix that. That's not much of an issue. Now, if I can just download it as usual and I'll show you that it will render perfectly. So here's my downloaded document. I will just open it for you. And um, just waiting for it to open. Got it here. So here you go. As you can see, all the inline equations are back. The equation blocks, the mathematical equations, formula, symbols, everything working perfectly, nothing broken. Yeah. Similarly, now you can build it up. So remember the prompt that we are giving you wrapped inside a markdown code block. Right. So every time. So I'll just do it one more time so that you guys are very clear. So here it is. Give me the proof of the Navier-Stokes equation. Like this is my quick question. When I'm done with my instructions, when I'm done with the questions that I want, I will just write make the output, make the output wrapped inside a markdown code block. So make the output wrapped inside a markdown code block. Right. So this is how I just hit enter once again. And this time I'll just have it directly as that code block. So yeah, just give it a moment to generate it. Uh, yeah, so you can see now I have directly got the content already in this markdown code block, which is there. So all I have to do is just wait for this thing to get over with. Yeah, the output is generating. So let's just wait for the output to get over with. So this is everything. This is actually what we copy when we use the dedicated copy button earlier, but now we no longer have to use this button. So as usual, remember, I will go to the top of this code block and where it's written markdown on the left hand side, on the right hand side, as usual, I will just do the copy code and copy code. I will go back to the massive mark here, wherever I have to insert it, I will click the red icon. The massive mark insert box will open. I will, as usual, paste the content which I wanted to paste and I'll click insert. Wait for it. Right. So you can see everything is rendered as it should be. Right. So I've got everything once again. I'll show you if I download it, nothing will be broken. Everything will be just as it should be. Give it a moment. This is what we had already inserted earlier. I had already shown you that this was perfectly rendered. 
Now I'll just go down and here is what we inserted in the second iteration. This is what we inserted in this time. So yeah, here is the second content that we inserted. You can see everything is inserted perfectly. The formulas and the inline mathematical equations, everything is rendering, nothing is broken, all the formatting is back, guys. So it is what it is, right? It is as it should be. It looks good, right? So, so yeah, this is all, I guess, for now, until we come up with an alternative solution which we are working on so that this problem goes away and you don't have to you know do this kind of backward forward and you can still somehow use that dedicated copy button so hopefully that fix will happen soon but meanwhile here is a short way that you guys can autonomously still operate massive mark thank you